Today marks the start of the new Reaper's Reward in The Sims 4. It's actually really interesting. So this is week one, day one. This will run for 55 days, which will take you to November 18th. They did add two extra weeks for cushioning if you don't get it all done within the first four weeks. So this first week, there are two different quests, Assistant to the Grim Reaper and A Call Away. And this will be open for seven days. You can get a total of five different new rewards. This includes the Freezer Bony Collectible, the Grimophone, and the Earrings of Imminent Demise, along with the Scare Seeker Lot Challenge. You also can collect some pre-existing rewards like a gardening book, a cooking book, different potions for health and energy. I think it's to help you with the quest as there's different activities that you have to complete for each one. I was actually really curious. So for when you first start off, you will get a pop-up in live mode. And I'm going to play with the same sim for the entire four-week challenge. Uh, so I'm turning aging off so that we can play with the same sim. So for the first activity, a call away, you have the first three tasks, which are to buy a gramophone, ask spirits about ambrosia, and wait for the ambrosia newsletter. And for the assistant to the Grim Reaper, there are two tasks when you first start off, which is ask three sims about ambrosia and order a starter flower seed packet. So when you ask sims about ambrosia, they tell you that you have to max out the cooking and the gourmet cooking skill before you can make ambrosia, which we pretty much already knew that. This is consistent with the lore for The Sims 4. The gramophone is not available right away. You have to start completing some of the quests to get the points. They show you like a point system in the UI where after so many points, then you unlock the gramophone. I was a bit confused about asking the spirits about Ambrosia because the spirits and that whole seance table came from the Sims 4 Paranormal Stuff Pack. So if you don't have the stuff pack, are you not able to complete the quest? Or like, how does that work? So somebody let me know in the comments. <laughs> I actually have no idea. Continue to check on the quest. The quest that comes up in the upper left hand side with the little grim symbol. There will be additional activities to complete as you're going. Activities may include things like planting certain flowers, like planting the snapdragon. There was a hint that they gave you when you asked the spirits about ambrosia, where it said that you need to plant a snapdragon, an apple tree, and a cherry tree. I'm going to do a separate video about how to build a, tr a greenhouse, because some of these plants won't grow if it's the wrong season. Um, but it's, I think it's setting you up for the next week. So the biggest thing that I understand about Ambrosia just from this quest because I've actually never made Ambrosia in the game before or revived anyone using the Ambrosia plant is that you need to max your cooking skill your gourmet cooking skill and you need to have the right ingredients and have a good relationship with someone who's about to die so that's kind of the catch so you're going to want to get your gardening skill your cooking skill up to speed and have the ingredients so I'm going to have my sim focus on that for the rest of this week I'm assuming that every week's going to be an additional series of quests maybe maybe not my favorite part was actually getting the gramophone which you can unlock pretty early in these quests i just chose to save it for last once you get the gramophone which does work as a regular music player too so if you want to play music and have your sims dance you totally can but the gramophone is a way that you can now summon grim to your home lot um they do give you like a, a warning like oh you can't don't summon him too much, <laughs> but you can talk to him for a little bit. For me, my Grim didn't like the romantic introduction. So if you have the Love Struck expansion pack and your Sim has the Love Bug trait, they have the ability to do a romantic greeting. My Grim wouldn't respond to that for me. So I had to greet him respectfully for him to respond. And then in my game, Grim was not interested in women, so I wasn't able to flirt with Grimm at all, but they did become besties, so hopefully that will help me in the second week's challenge, but I unlocked everything I could unlock this week, all four of the rewards, and I'm going to, like I said, keep this save going forward, so let me know in the comments below, do you like this way better of having actual quests to complete every week, or did you like the original reward event where you just logged in every day and pressed the button to claim your reward? And just FYI, now all the rewards are going to be saved to your EA account. 
So if you have to, for whatever reason, get a new computer or if the Sims crashes and you have to uninstall and reinstall, you won't lose your rewards week to week, which I think is a really nice feature because a lot of people are upset with the first event because it was tied to your settings or some sort of like something in the EA folder. 